Hi everyone, this is Minus 10 and welcome back to Tech in 5 where we cover tech products in about 5 minutes. This is not a review, but rather a glimpse into interesting technology that I use in my everyday life. Today we're going to take a look at the Perilute Caravel keypad that was designed for the first person shooter gamer at heart. Coming out of the box, the first impression I have of the Perilute Caravel is this is a piece of gaming art. No question about it, the Perilute Caravel was designed with inspiration and passion, and the final product really demonstrates the creativity that went into designing, engineering, and manufacturing this ergonomic gamepad. Once you can hold and let your wrist and fingers glide across its keycaps, you will clearly understand what I mean. Built with 24 Cherry MX Brown and clear switches, along with DSA PBT keycaps, your hand will feel at ease resting your wrist and fingertips on the non-lettered keycaps. If you are a keyboard enthusiast and used to properly lube switches, the MX Brown and clear switches will feel a bit scratchy under your fingertips as these switches are most likely unlooped. Tactile switches do feel nice, especially for typing, but this could be a turnoff for those gamers that prefer the fluidity of linear switches. I did check with Perilute, and the Caravel is not hot swappable. That said, for those keyboard enthusiasts, it does appear that the Caravel can be tinkered with, and for a future video, I may remove the tactile MX Browns and clears and solder in lubed and filmed Eteron Ink Black V2 switches. For day-to-day -day use, there are a couple things the first-person shooter gamer needs to take into consideration. 1. Muscle memory. Overall, the Perilute Caravel feels fantastic, but you must make the commitment to relearn where you're going to route your fingers during fast and furious battles. It did take me a couple days of retraining my fingertips. If you only play games from one location, this may be a worthwhile training. However, if you are a gamer on the go and play your favorites at home and as you travel, your muscle memory retraining could be a chore as you bounce between the Perilute Caravel and your laptop keyboard. Two, tight spaces. If you are a gamer that is constantly bashing your mouse into your keyboard, the Caravel is a true problem solver as it frees up ample space to guide your gaming mouse across your desk. For low DPI gamers, this is heavenly as big flicks require ample desk space. 3. Reprogramming Many gaming peripherals have relatively easy to use software that allows quick remapping of keys. The Perilute does offer software that allows you to remap the keys, but it does require you to open the Caravel and to press a small button on the PCB. Not a deal killer, but if you want to reprogram key mappings, it does require little work. The reason I raise this is the tilde key here and the left shift key here are located right next to each other. Most gamers use Discord for their in-game chat and the tilde plus shift brings up the in-game Discord overlay. This happened to me quite a bit until I properly retrained my pinky finger. Number four, lefties. This is a right-handed gaming device. Unless you are a lefty, with some serious right-handed capabilities, you may want to take a hard pass on the Perilute Caravel. Now for a sound test. So that is the overall glimpse into the Perilute Caravel. I got to admit, I do tip my hat to Perilute as this is a masterpiece of gaming art and function. 
Even if you don't use it long term in your FPS pursuits, it is a peripheral that can be a display and talking piece in your gaming den for years to come. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please click on the like button.